IELTS Speaking Part 3 Topic Decision Making Question 1. Why do some people find it hard to make decisions? Why do some find it really troublesome to make decisions? Well, they are probably of Libra zodiac sign. Well, putting that little joke aside, I really wish that the answer to this question was a simple one, but unfortunately, it isn't. However, I would like to attribute such indecision mostly to the fear of what kind of outcomes we would come up with after the decision was made and implemented, simply because we humans in general are fearful of the unknown, even at a time when the odds are very much in favor of some positive results. Making decisions for some people becomes hard also probably because they are just not good enough in gathering all the necessary data and information to make an informed decision. Question 2. How important is it to get advice from other people when making decisions? It is very important, in my opinion, to receive advice from other people or ways when making decisions, primarily because it would help one become familiar with an array of ideas and possibilities with regards to the kinds of outcomes he or she would need to expect. Besides, when we are open to receiving advice from others, the chances are that we would be able to learn about the outcomes when somebody took the same kind of decisions in the past. Finally, we should be open to receive advice from others when making decisions, even if they don't serve our purposes in the present, since there is always a chance that they would benefit us in the future. Question 3. Why is it sometimes difficult to accept advice? It is difficult to accept advice sometimes for some people mainly because of an inherent human characteristic called ego. It is because of this ego we sometimes fail to see the truth just as we fail to accept advice. In other words, we feel that we know better than others and that accepting advice from other people will belittle us in front of them. Of course, it also has something to do with the reliability and trustworthiness of the persons who are offering advice. Question 4. What are some of the most important decisions young people have to make? Young people are not exempted from making important decisions just because they are called young. In fact, they also have to make some important decisions in their lives. Such what kind of career path to choose, what kinds of subjects to study at universities, or when to get married and start a family. Finally, what kind of financial habit and health habit to practice is also a very important decision, along with the decisions above I just mentioned, for young people to make if they want to live happy and healthy for the rest of their lives. Question 5. Do you agree that parents should make important decisions for their children? Parents should make important decisions in consent with the inputs and opinion of the children for their children until they reach their adulthood. But once they are grown up and ready to leave the nest, parents should leave their children alone to make important decisions on their own. If the parents don't allow their children to make important decisions, they will probably never learn how to take risks in life and live on their own. In fact, parents should always encourage their children to make decisions even if their children are reluctant to do so. After all, parents will never be around them forever to help their children out during crucial times. Question 6. Is it better to make a decision thinking about what you want or thinking about what other people want? Yes, it is always better to make a decision thinking what I really want instead of worrying about what others really want primarily because it will be me who will have to live with whatever decision I make for the rest of my life one way or another. Of course, it never harms to consult with the people we love or care for and ask them what they also want from time to time in order to bring them on board with my decision. But the decision will always be mine based on what I really want. One thing which is worth mentioning here is that one doesn't worry what others want, not because he or she has total disregards for others, but because it would be easier for the decision maker to achieve his or her goal rather easily since he or she is so intimately involved with the decision made. This concludes IELTS Speaking Part 3. Thank you for listening.